Hello, it's 2.23 p.m. I'm back. Um, so last night was such a rough and dangerous, scary night that I, I need help with tonight. So um, I had a little bit, a, a couple of more donations yesterday evening. But the problem is, um, the fifty dollar deposit for the ho the hotel that I was at, um, they said it's gonna take up to a week to clear. So, um, they said it's gonna take up to a week to clear. So, um, I would be out of fifty dollars. You know, I mean if if the check, I mean if the um, wow. If the deposit um, would have cleared today, then I could have done at least, I would have had enough to do at least one night in the hotel. I would have had, I would have had to do at least, I mean, I would have been able to do at least one night in the hotel. I mean, you know, the one I just recently checked out of, because you in Pensacola, they want, a $100 deposit from locals. I'm not a native, but I'm considered a local and have a local address. So, um, if you consider local and you've been, I mean, they, they want you to have to pay a $100 cash deposit usually from a lot of the hotels and motels and stuff. But the last couple of motels, the weekly motels I was staying at, we didn't have to pay a $100 deposit, but they were weekly only. I don't, wait a minute, hold up. The first motel was nightly, but it's closer to the beach. So it's, it's probably, and they remodeled the room, so that's more expensive, but that's in Gulf Breeze. So I'm focusing more on here in Pensacola. So, you know, I dread and hate, would hate to have to be back on the streets tonight. And just remember, you psychopathic online gang stalkers, y'all have a car, you have a comfortable bed, a comfortable roof over your head, you get your privacy, you can sleep and wake up when you want to, um, I guess unless you have a job, but then if you were still tired, you can rest longer. I got no sleep last night, and then today, I was sleep deprived and dozing off and having micro sleeps and trying to fight sleep and just felt more tortured and uncomfortable. So, um, because I know I'm not allowed to sleep. So it was a hard battle to try to fight to force myself to stay awake when I was robbed of sleep last night. So um, despite feeling how I felt, I went, I, I already told y'all I went to see about the, any tent service positions. Um, there were none that could accommodate my disability, but um, I applied on Indeed and applied for several jobs both here and in New Orleans. My hometown, I mean, it's three hours away. <clears throat> so both here and New Orleans. I, of course, I applied for about maybe between three and five New Orleans applications. And I don't know about seven between seven and ten applications for Pensacola here. So I'm not going to name names, of, and I don't even remember all the businesses I applied to, but the online perps, if they were to find out which companies I applied to, they would call them, they would call them up. The same people who are trying to smear my name, they would call them up and be like, well, hey, don't hire Candy because she's this, that, or she will do this and that, or she will act this way. And, you know, trying to manipulate and get in their heads and, you know, talk about the mental health thing and, you know, the targeting and manipulate and convince employers for sure to not hire me. 
But then they don't want me asking for a hotel. They, like, if I wanted to be homeless, then I, I wouldn't ask for a hotel or motel. But they falsely accused me of running a scheme um, for money because as a result of me whistleblowing and, and um, telling the truth. So then they, they had the smear campaigns. And so um, <clears throat> if it weren't for them doing that to me, <clears throat> excuse me, I could more people would have been willing to support me and I could have been just making, don't, getting donations and tips and making money from my writings. But you know, they have a complaint about everything that I do. If they complain about me doing something, I do the opposite and they still complain about that. And it's really none of their business. And, and, and it's like, as I said, it's wearing me out and exhausting and other professed targeted individuals, they tune me out and don't wanna listen. But the moment they betray me, the first thing they do is flock to my twin sister. But when it comes to me, they want to tell me, shut up and ignore and try to dictate what I should focus on. To me, that's not a real friend. Because if my twin sister said something about me, y'all would act like y'all have such outpouring sympathy. And y'all give her the closure that I wish I had. <clears throat> so... Um, people who want to act like they claim me as a friend or consider me a friend, but then um, if I talk about, you, you know, not even just my twin sister, if I talk, if they're supposed to be targeted too, if I talk about any of the online harassment, they'll make it like, oh, I just don't want to hear the drama. But I mean, they're doing stuff like getting my accounts shut down online or getting me fired from jobs and banned from restaurants and stuff is that serious and if i ignored everything they do and i get banned from riding the buses again or something and then i wonder well i wouldn't know who that came from and then trying to figure out well who well who would have called but if i hadn't been you know up to par on what they're doing you know I would probably be in the dark. So I mean, it's like everything that they're like, falsely accusing me of, they're um, they're using projection. So you know, um, it's like when I went through with Patricia, everybody wants to side with her and defend her as a real Ti. And then tell me, I don't want to hear it. You need to, oh, just ignore her and focus on this. But then you're going to say, oh, she's a real T.I. So, um, <clears throat> as I said, they've been stalking my blog, my Kofi, my YouTube videos, my Twitter, everything. Trying to get everything shut down and making threats to make police reports, cease and desist letters, lawsuits, and everything to try to shut me down from telling the truth. And then Trisha reversed it on me and lied and said that I'm the one who, she tried to say, that's how, you, Candy's the one stalking me, that's how you know she's guilty, or something she said. You, you know, and they just, I mean, if you were a true targeted individual, you wouldn't be ganging up with others to bully, harass, and laugh at me. And if you were a true Christian, likewise. Because you're talking about fighting in the spirit and fasting and stuff like that, but then you talk that new age fake talk about karma, which is not biblical. And, um, you know, as I said, I'm warning people of what really, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm informing people of what truly happened. And all they try to do is make me out to look like a fool, like the biggest fool. And I'm just one person against a whole gang. So, um, you know, as I said, they're really trying to take me down. And the fake so-called targeted friends in my life have either turned against me or betrayed me or they want me to shut up and not, and not talk about it. Or even if I talk about any other gang stalking, oh, shut up and ignore 
So, um, and then they want to try to dictate my life. And then they make it like as if, you know, I'm just this loser who needs to just learn how to get my life together. Omarion did the same thing with Raz B when Raz B exposed the truth about him and he would he even try to make Raz B out to look crazy. Um, that's one of the things Omarion got mad and folded his arms and said, get your life together. And, and was real mad and stuff, you, you know, to try to gaslight Raz B from B2K, that music group. So, um, yeah, they try to tell me I need to learn how to get my life together. And they make it like it's so e just quick and easy to look for a job and to get a job, to find a job and everything, you know. So, but the thing is, it's, it's like Trisha and my twin sister and the other, the whole entire gang, cult, they're all stalking all of my online activity just to for the small smear campaigns and figure what they can twist and use against me. So um, if I lay in bed all day, that's my business. It ain't yours. If I ask for donations, I didn't ask you, so go somewhere. So, you know, if we had an issue, a real, what a real target, what a true targeted in individual would do is um, just part ways with me and then maybe confide in maybe a few other targets or something to tell your version. But to go with people who you know as my perps and um, to go and gang up on me and acting everything like a perp. I mean, a, a couple of professed targets, I've had to shut, block them and shut them out of my life because they sit there defending Trisha. So they can smear campaign me, do fake live streams about me, you know, laughing at me, mocking and making fun of me, and talking about my mental health, and, you know, <clears throat> just talking about my behavior and everything, and then, and, like, false things about me that just make me look really embarrassed. But when I speak my true version of what truly happened, what they do is, um, they got, they, they want to, you know, try to get me shut down. You know, I'm not the one who's obsessed and stalking and following them. As I said, you know, my views on Kofi, I mean, that was the point in time when nobody would look at my Kofi at all. But now they're stalking my Kofi several times a day, just like they used to stalk my GoFundMe several times a day, Google me several times a day. It's like, I'm on their mind all day, every day. I mean, there are many more, you are missing out on your life worrying about a nobody like me. I'm, I'm nobody, I'm nobody special at all. But you decide to um, make me important. I never came into Trisha's life, she came after me, and now I'm this sick, obsessed stalker weirdo. And then she tried to say, well, Candy's, um, you know, she's gonna see this comment and do a whole video about me, and do a whole video about it, and, and don't even pay attention to her um, attention-seeking behavior, just ignore her. But who's the one trying to get attention, though? You know, so, if they try to just smear campaign me and lie on me, cause me to lose supporters and sub subscribers and followers, and as I said, I don't know what what I did for my twin sister to work harder at trying to ruin me. Trying to ruin me mentally. And then more people are joining the cult. Now I'm getting increased, th like 14 thumbs down on each video. And I mean, as I said, um, you don't have to be pure evil to, to force your twin sister out in weather like what was like what was yesterday. You gotta be pure evil. Why you why you live in a comfortable, sexually perverse lifestyle? Cause you don't think that other 
You, you don't think that other family members deserve to be, you ain't gonna force and bully them to, onto the streets and have them stripped of everything and everybody that they have. Stripped of everything, you know. <clears throat> so, I mean, I have been, I think I was trying to tell y'all that a couple of weeks ago, even before I was by Trisha, I would be like applying for jobs on Indeed and Craigslist, and even as far back as March, and most jobs, I never heard of them. This company called Meraki in New Orleans, they looked at my profile on Indeed, but guess what? They never responded back. They ignored me. So, <clears throat> I've been trying. I have been trying. So they want to try to make like Candy doesn't like to work, Candy doesn't want to work, Candy doesn't want a job, all Candy wants to do is sit down, lay down in bed and talk bad about people all day, which is not true. You know, y'all don't know what I do all day. So, um, <clears throat> the same people who were trying to tell me, oh, Trisha was, you know, trying to, your roommate was trying to sacrifice you. <clears throat> and it's good, oh, and they made it like they were concerned and everything. But now me being traumatized and trying to talk about it, they want me to shut up and forget about it and move on. I mean, as I say, I can't, I'm so traumatized, I can't, I'm like, I'm really, like, I can't even explain. I, I am traumatized. <clears throat> you know, oh, wow, the lights, why do the lights turn off? Hold up. Well, I'll continue talking. <clears throat> but um maybe it might that might might be the sensors and stuff like that, because I don't think I can turn on my phone flashlight while doing a video at the same time. But um yeah, I mean I wish I could have helped. Well, if I were to, to go back to this hotel, the extended stay hotel, if I were to go back there, um, I would have to start the cycle, the seven day cycle of single price all over again, unless it's a weekly price. If I pay the first week a weekly price, if I had help with three hundred seventy five dollars, that's two seventy five plus. I mean, and, and if multiple people can pitch in, like two seventy-five plus one hundred dollar deposit, so I would need help with like three hundred seventy-five dollars to stay there for a week. And um, there's no guarantee I would get a job, but you know, I at least been trying. I've been working on things, writing things, and everything. As I said, I got no sleep last night, last night, and been sleep deprived and have sleep deprivation carrying over from previous days also. And just feeling super weird. Like I really can't function on a day like this. Like if I would have to go to work today, I couldn't do it. I'm just feeling too bad. I need my rest, I need sleep. So I couldn't rest or sleep yesterday. I couldn't. I couldn't rest or sleep yesterday. I mean, last night. So, the fact that I'm blacklisted in a targeted individual, you know, the same people who be like, well, Candy doesn't want to work, are the same people who will call up my jobs and, and tell them, don't hire me. That's the games that they play. <clears throat> and they want to, I mean, they do not have the authority to inflict punishment on me. They don't have any authority or right to do that. They're not the law. They, do, they are not the law at all. They don't want anything. Wow, now I see some kind of red light, reddish kind of light. Uh, it, everything was just completely dark and now I see a little bit red. Maybe from the exit sign or something. But, you know, I'm praying for help. You know, if, if anybody can help me with $375 to stay in the um, extended stay hotel and praying for me to get a job opportunity. And then I can be on my own from there and be, you know, I can be on my own 
from, from there if I get a job, if I can get another job opportunity, you know, and I'm just trying to survive day to day. I mean, like 15 or $20 an hour full time should be, you know, sufficient for me, plus my social security. But, you know, I don't have to have more than that. I'm just trying to survive. I'm not trying to get like a $75,000 a year salary. I'm just trying to survive and live day to day. And I'm not trying to ask for too, too much, you know. And as I said, I'm black. If I try to get housing, the perks sabotage me trying to get housing, jobs. They sabotage your friends, family, relationships. Um, they turn your kids against you if you have kids. They, if you have a car, they try to destroy your car. If you have a house, they try to destroy your house and force you to be homeless. Or they find some way to mob and bully and drive you out of your home. Or hit you with directed energy weapons so bad to where you couldn't even, your home is no longer a sanctuary. Or noise campaigns so intense that you can't even rest. It's not a safe haven. You know. So. As I said, but they want to keep keep their net false narratives going. You know, I'm just going to try to avoid them for a while. You know, at least, I mean, I'm going to try to just cool it and try to avoid them. You know, I'm going to try to avoid them. And, um, you know, but we'll see who the obsessed stalker is if three weeks from, three weeks from now, they're still doing on um, smear campaign fake live streams and videos about me. Will, if my twin sister and all of them, if they got a fake follow-up video to, to try to fake debunk and discredit my targeting, and my twin sister screaming hard and loud and fighting too, fighting too hard to try to, you know, go from person to person to try to falsely convince them Candy's not a real target individual. But people will rather believe the fake TIs as the real ones and somebody who's a real TI, it's like you, you, you think they're fake. And it's just the reverse and backwards. You know, if somebody talks bad about me or, or um, has a complaint about me, you got all your outpouring sympathy, empathy, and compassion. But when it comes to me, you try to tell me to shut up and ignore it and then fo focus on this or focus on that. You know, but I'm tired of going to war I'm with them. I'm tired of fighting them. And I know my truth. I know the truth. And a real friend will back me up. And a real friend will listen to my complaints and my cries. Because when they go on through it with something, I got to listen to them. With those fake narcissistic one-sided friendships. You know, so I have a lot of videos today and I apologize for clogging up your timeline but I'm on the streets homeless and you're gonna see, whenever I'm out and about you gotta see more videos than if I have <coughs> you notice that when I was staying in a hotel or a motel you wouldn't see 10 or 15 or maybe 30 videos a, a, in a day you would probably see like maybe one or two no, more like two or three videos, to be fair. And I, I try to show the positive things too, like and anything positive that I try to do that makes me happy, they have an issue and complaint with that too. Like as if, how dare you? But it's, it's like these people are not being put to a stop and they're not being criminalized. They're not gonna go to jail or prison, but they act like as if they're working on trying to look for a way to get me locked up somewhere. <clears throat> but I just cannot believe what I'm going through. And Trisha, I thought Star Bricker and Jessica Ricketts Holness, I thought they were the worst. So I gotta go.